Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the last section of the guided edits called the auto actions. And the first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the auto actions. And the next tutorials, it's going to be a little bit advanced. You may want to skip it or not. Um, but we're going to take, we're going to create an action in Photoshop to create a watermark. And then we're going to use that action to play an automated action in Photoshop Elements. Okay, so first let's select the sunflower here and then select this gentleman here and then right click edit with Photoshop Elements Editor. Go ahead and go to the guided edit. You should have this guy selected. Okay. And we're going to scroll up here until I can find those adjust levels. We're going to create a levels adjustment, click OK, and accept it. And then we're going to click Auto. And then we're going to move the middle part here, the middle gamma, to get a better look. OK, that's fine. And then go ahead and click Done. And we're going to scroll down until we see Action Player under the Automated Actions. And here it provides, uh, number one, you can select the action that you wish to use. You can lose weight add a caption, resize and crop, or special effects. Depending on which one you choose here, you have a submenu. And then you choose from the submenu, and then you can play the action. And there is a tip, Photoshop Elements includes some action sets for you. You may, ask, you may also add your own actions, which I will show you in the next lesson. Please consult the help file and information on creating and adding your own action sets. A lot of requests come for creating an action to do watermarks. So I'll show you in the next lesson. But let's say you want to add a caption to this photo. You can add a white caption, a black or a gray. If you want to add a white caption, just click play action and instantly there's your caption or you can add some text to it. Be careful not to say, oh I want to change it to black instead because if you do this watch what happens. It adds a black on top of a white. So be careful about that. So go ahead and click reset. Let's say this gentleman looks a little too heavy to you. You could lose, click lose weight. You could make him 2% thinner or 4% thinner. Let's say 4% and then you play an action. And it goes through a list of things to make this 4% thinner. You can click it again and it will keep making him thinner to the point that it starts looking really weird. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and reset. Now let's select the sunflower. There we go. Let me go back to Guided. Let me go back to Action Player. Sorry about that. And you can choose Resize and Crop. You can say 3 by 5, 4 by 6, 4 by 6 in our crop. I'm not going to do that because that's kind of obvious. But I do like this next part, Special Effects. And you can choose, let's say, Faded Ink with a Vignette. Play Action and watch what happens. Nice, huh? Very, very nice. I like that. Okay, so let's try an instant snapshot and see what that's about. I don't know, snapshot, I think Polaroid maybe. Ah, there you go. Nice. And then you can um, edit this into full edit, and then you probably can add some text here. So these are some nice quick actions for you. But in the next lesson, I'm going to show you a more advanced um, way of creating an action.